In southern Mexico, where the shortest distance between the Gulf of Mexico and the Pacific Ocean is, we find the Istmo of Tehuantepec. Here is the largest eolic corridor of Latin America. However, past generations were not always sure about the future of these lands. When I was a child, I used to come here with my father, and we would stop and talk to the locals. Everybody thought that this land had no future. Marcos, who just graduated from the Instituto Tecnológico del Istmo, has landed a green job that is making a difference in his hometown of Oaxaca. We never thought that the wind, aside from being a nuisance, would become the asset that it is today. It is tough to think that if you weren't from the plant, some of the young people that work here could have ended immigrating to the United States to look for a job as a waiter or bartender. Oaxaca still lags behind other Mexican states in technological innovation, but the Euro's wind farm represents a huge step forward in the development of sustainable energy in the country and beyond. This project has changed the way we approach doing business in the world, especially in economically disadvantaged areas. We've brought the indigenous Zapotecas with their customs and traditions, together with the Spaniards. The government only had to find them on the open market. At first, we didn't know how to go about it, but we had to learn quickly. We've understood that the wind in the Tehuantepec Isthmus is the new harvest of rural Oaxaca. Founded a year ago, the wind farm will be one of the largest in the world and the second largest in terms of emissions reduction registered under the Clean Development Mechanism of the United Nations. EURES is a self-sufficient energy facility developed by ACCIONA with the Mexican cement company CEMEX. The farm will generate enough power to supply half a million people. Projects like the EURES wind farm are possible right now in Mexico due to the new law on renewable energy approved uh, recently, one and a half years ago, uh, which sets clearly targets for the introduction of clean energy into uh, Mexico's energy metrics. In the next couple of years, uh, more than 2,000 megawatts wind energy will be installed in the region of the Tehuantepec Isthmus. In times of economic crisis, investing in clean, sustainable sources of energy is a viable alternative for job creation. This new market is unleashing the power of the wind. During the peak of the construction phase, we were able to employ around 1,300 people. Today, about 400 people work full-time for Eros in Mexico. The winds of change are blowing in Oaxaca. Momentum is building for alternative energies and the opportunity to grab innovation must be taken. There is no plan B for Earth, at least not for Marco. I really enjoy working on these giants. When they break down, I go up to see what's happening. And once I fix them, it's great to see them moving again. And the most amazing thing is that when they move, they produce clean energy. Thank <laughs> you.